Hey, my name is Ty. Let's look at a sign language video from the Daily Moth. You should subscribe to this channel. They're a deaf news website. And what I'm going to do is uh, my best to translate literally the signs that are being said. You'll be able to follow along with the English captions at the bottom of the video. And what I'm doing is just trying to highlight some really cool stylistic choices that are being used by different people who speak uh, sign language or sign sign language. Anyway, so last... Friday, right? Um, I saw or I noticed I was looking at Old Navy, right? Mm -hmm. Store. They had on the internet, you know, basically nothing, dude. There was nothing there <laughs> on that store. T shirts. You know, like baby stuff and like basically anything you can wear or all the materials that you, you know, wear or, you know, like nothing, dude, was there or nothing was there with drawings of the V-shaped symbol or the double V-shaped symbol. Hands. I think he's saying signs there. Hand signs that look like this with messages or words that said love one another. Yeah? Which said love one another over there. So let me quick pause there. So he's basically saying, hey, man, I was looking at Old Navy. They didn't have any T-shirts. Like, since last Friday, they didn't have any T-shirts, uh, baby clothes, or any sort of, like, um, materials that had uh, the hand shapes of these two things next to each other with the words that said love one another. And the reason why is because this means intercourse in sign language. Think of it as, like, two bunnies bouncing off of each other right right you know how like how we say you know bunnies like to multiply that's the representation by doing this and so old navy once upon a time uh pretty pretty recently had a sign that had like a black guy in a white hand doing this which in my opinion is cute as hell and supportive but of like you know love one another uh, i feels it feels like one of those things that isn't like un entirely ironic I'm not here to editorialize, though. Let's go back to sign language, though. But I feel like someone knew what that meant and tried to, like, sneak it under the rug. Anyway. 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 Let's just move forward. So, love one another. Yeah? Okay. So, love everybody or one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, that. Oh, by the way, good stylistic choice. So, when I do that, I like to do, like, that if I mean, like, this. Like, this is very emphatic, but if I'm using it, like, in the sentence structure, sort of, like, as a conjunction sort of a way, that works really well. What he's saying is, like, that, you know, like, this, 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 one thing at a time, at is like that, but that works like this. So he's just like, that, 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 that. You'll see that a lot. Anyway. That... HS hand sign specifically looks a lot like uh, the sign for F U. <laughs> I like how he goes like F U and then he's like dot 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 so on so on and so on. That's so great. Okay, anyway, that. You know, that blew up. It went all over the place in deaf uh, messaging, deaf internet messaging. That blew up for deaf internet messaging. So uh, deaf internet messages all over the place uh, last week. Oh, and I want to I highlight that again. So this means week, 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 two weeks. Three weeks, last week is how he's saying it. Last week is how he's saying it. So let me just back up so you can see how he says last week, which I think is a, a really cool way of saying last week. And I think internet 
messages is like social media and it says social media there cool last week last week end of the week like end of the week the weekend last week anyway so uh one person on twitter this is the sign for twitter it's like a bird tweeting so one person on twitter that person told uh me or told somebody told uh who oh man i'm gonna have to back up a wee bit so so one person on twitter she or her we'll call it a she she said that person told uh was told who was by a worker and well worker at worker old navy yeah sh that person was told okay well, what does that sentence mean i think it means like that person was told on twitter by another person who was an old navy worker yeah i think that's what they're saying okay so that per one person was on twitter she said or that person was told by another person who worked at old navy and that person this person who worked at old navy told the daily moth which is them that uh, last friday oh friday morning last friday morning that last or past friday morning right that person the one who worked at old navy man they went through a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> they got this message they were told they were told this message or they got informed that they were p u l l p u l l they got the message that they would for everything that was there they would p u l l gather up all the taboo stuff and put them away or plus put them away and here's the classic all I, that's my favorite version of all gather up all gather up all look how he, he shakes it like a, a dice roll <laughs> gather up all I know I've done, I've done this explosion so many times on this channel but a l l all and then becomes more fancy all 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 so that's what that sign means it's all a l l all gather up all the u n i t s units gather up all the units that have the the screwing sign uh get them all up put them away and that person who works at old navy she said you know everybody at top you know at old navy the message that they're handing down specifically with reason no reason why none no reason why let me see let me make sure i understand that sentence all the people at old navy you know informed specific reason why no did not give a reason why did not give a reason why specifically about what they're doing oh what they're doing but she knew <laughs> That's a sassy way of being like, but she knew. She knew. She knew. I'm like, I know that, though. It's like, I know that. That's how you sign it. It's like, I know that. It's like, do you know this? I was like, do you know? I'm like, you sure you know this? It's like, I know this. I know this, right? So uh, it's a sassy way of saying she knew. And this is like, what's going on? She knew what was going on. I like that. If it was a she. It is a she. Okay, good. Okay. So... Old Navy didn't give that person a specific reason about what they were doing this pulling down. But this person, she was like, uh-huh, yeah, I know <laughs> what's going on here. 
because this person has a CO worker, a co-worker, and that person showed that the sign f that had the screwing message, you know, that, that, that's the end of the sentence. In in science or in English, it may, doesn't seem it seems like it hung itself, but in ASL, it's like she knew because her coworkers showed her, right? That's how you would say that in English too. So how did they translate that in captions? She showed her the sign. She showed her the sign. That that that. Yeah, she showed her the sign because she knew what was going on because her coworkers showed her the sign. Yeah, that's exactly how you would sign that. These captions are so good. So basically, uh, uh, an old Navy made a weird T-shirt that deaf people thought was funny. Um, then suddenly, old Navy took down the shirts, and they didn't really give a reason why. They were just telling the employees, "Take them all down." And the employee was like, "You didn't give us a reason why to do this, but I know why because I have a co-worker who showed me why you guys do it, so I know what's going on." <laughs> Okay, so now uh, she showed, I will show you, I will show you. That's what he said. I will, ooh, it's very, very fast. Let's see. Let's see. Now I will, yeah. So n so now I, so these are his signs slow and, and paced out. Now I will show you two, and then most likely he'll say pictures but we'll see but there's the will do you see the will show the will show that very very quick will let's see if we can pause the frame on that anyway that that so now I look for the will there it is oh oh it comes up so fast do you see it do you see it did you see it okay one more time now I will this is the hand that's doing the will sign. And then he'll translate directly into show. Yeah, or transition directly into show. So now I will show you. Not show me, but show you, right? One last time and then we'll move forward. Now I will show you, show you two pictures, pictures that Old Navy, and he's spelling it out Old Navy, O L D N A V Y, right? It on the web on the internet store. I'll show you two pictures from Old Navy's internet store. The first picture, the first uh, picture, right? That was the store can give internet last week earlier than available last week uh, the pictures where the things where the clothes were available from last week and then the second picture that they were all taken down uh, li on last Friday and here you can see them right now Go on ahead and see him. <laughs> he has a very intense stare. So here's that first picture where they were available, and you could see them if you were searching for love one another. But now they, skipping ahead just a little bit, now when you type in love one another, you get this where it says, we couldn't find a match for one love one another. Please try another search. So looks like we go into an ad, and we've already done this ad translation. So now we'll just go straight back into the main story. Man, what an intense stare. Anyway. I uh, reached out. I reached out. So it's not internet. This is internet, by the way. It's not internet. He's he's directing for like I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out to people. So I'm I'm reaching out to contact. Does that make sense? It's the it's a directional sign. So I reached out. Yeah. Or sort of like I met. I met with someone I reached out with someone or I made a connection or I made a point with either way it's fine 
So I reached out them G A P with the gap and a and Old Navy. Yeah. I reached out to Gap and Old Navy last Friday. Yeah. And I was like, hey guys, what's going on? And <laughs> there's some signs in ASL that are not like um, standard textbook signs and they're more like come on what are you talking about what are you doing right so like I reached out to G-A-P and I don't think he said and but he's but if he did it was, it was a pause old navy and was like what's going on right and they and that's how he's and that's basically how the signs are are, are, are translated or in terms of like what they mean so like it's not like every sign has a one direct word in English. Sometimes there's gestures that mean a bunch of different things, and I think they fall into the class of signs in sign language called non-manual signs, which is sort of just like, hey, in the context of this, you know what I'm trying to say. So it's just like, you know what's going on. So this like, I know, I know, like knowledge, or I know, but I know that, I know that. I know what's going on, right? It's like, you know what I, I know I'm saying more than I know what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, why are you even telling me that? Because I figured this out already. That's like the context behind it. So like this, this little what sign that he gives doesn't mean like what. It's more of like, hey man, what's going on? Tell me about the story, dude. This is crazy, right? <laughs> That's why there's so many words that with that just one sign. So like Old Navy and last Friday look at the facials pretty good I was like what's going on here like well, come on I'm like okay so the facials help to convey the context of that what sign too anyway and so they were like yep 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 or uh, confirm yep 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 they were done they've removed all that stuff all of it oh, 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 oh they removed they removed all that stuff they re they took it all down they took it all down is probably the better way to say it and then he does this which is the old school version of all or the textbook version of all so this is all and there's another way of saying all so he does both versions of it that's cool he's chose to do the formal version of all when he's talking about how old navy is responding to this uh request for information Whereas when he's talking about just himself, he's like, all of this stuff got taken down. But when I talked to Old Navy, they said all of it was taken down. Very professional. And there's another sign here that he's doing for products, which is a very professional way of saying products or stuff. Because before, in the earlier video, he was like, they took all the stuff down, right? And now he's saying, Old Navy says they took all the products down. <laughs> So it's like he's speaking on behalf of these larger companies in a much more professional tone, which, very, which is a very cool stylistic difference in, in signing. Okay, so all the products, products, sometimes see products like this. You can see products the other way too. Pro, I'm sorry, I was not paying attention. Products from the store plus internet stuff or internet sites yeah websites internet sites okay so last week those guys came and said more or less said that the drawing the drawing of the two hands next to each other you know that was intended to be peace that was supposed to be the peace sign or intended to be peace it was, and with two hands it was supposed to be like this that's what it should have been that's what it should have been let me back up so um, they said or so they all try to say to us that the original intention was that this was supposed to be the peace sign and so with two hands it was supposed to be the peace sign that's what it should have been that's what it should have been. That's what this sign means. Should, could, must, ought to. That's your, your go-to um, should have sign or could have sign or must have or intended to sign. 
And so by doing this at the end of the sentence, he's just like, peace, two hands with peace. That's what, it, that's what it, they were saying it should have been. That's what they were saying it should have been. That's a, a very interesting way to use that sign, right? Let's back up and do it one more time, just real quick. So it was supposed to be, or it looked like the double hand piece. That's what it was supposed to be. That's what it should have been. But, you know, it ended up not hearing. Let me back up. But n should have been. But it it's done now that they've heard or they hear feedback. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I got the all the gist of that sentence. I'm sorry for going back, guys. Let me see if I can start this from the beginning. <laughs> not the very, very beginning, but like that graphic mm -hmm, of those two hands being put together, the intention, the intended was for peace, like double-handed peace. That's what it should have been. But that, that was done. Now that we've heard, or now that is done now that we've heard feedback. I'm adding some extra words in here. Now work on verifying all of that stuff, the process listings that we have making sure that all notice how he goes back to all again now that he's 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 not doing the formal version i think he's doing more of a summary maybe i'm looking too more into it but anyway he was like he was like all like rolling the dice at the beginning of the video like i got it all <laughs> <laughs> right and now he's doing the formal all when he's talking about old navy and now he does this open for it all uh when he's still you know i think winding back to his normal cadence but anyway making sure that all graphics with hands or hands should be checked, checked, doubted, doubted, or uh, verified, vetted, that counts too, by working or consultants. Okay, so we'll do a quick breakdown of this sentence from the deaf community. Yeah, consultants are from the deaf community. Moving forward to avoid, again, saying again, UN intended unintended meaning mm -hmm. <laughs> and nothing else I can say I don't know how to translate that <laughs> other than just okay yeah unintended meetings blah so we'll go again from the uh, from let's just do it again from the V's all right so so now that they've heard feedback Feedback, by the way, is like this, is like this, feedback, because FB, FB, right? Feedback, FB, feedback, feedback, feedback. So double feedback on top of each other, feedback, feedback. That's why you have that. So feedback, feedback. Now, now, working, now they're working on, you know, looking at everything or checking everything that they got the process that they have, the listings for the things that they're selling on the sites. They want to make sure, make sure, make sure that all the graphics that they have, right, with hands, you know, hands, should, you know, be looked at, looked at, vetted, verified, vetted, from workers or, oh, I'm sorry, or, or consultants. And let me pause that consultants. Consulting, to consult someone is like this. Hey, consult, consult, 
consult. How do you say consult in ASL? It's like this. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm tapping your hand to tell you what you got to do. Consult, right? Or I, I need help. And so he's doing consult like this with a C just to emphasize that it's not consult in the, in the general, like, hey, I need your attention sort of way. It's more of like consulting person. So it's an employee, work, work person, but he's saying uh, a worker, right? So like an employee would be like, boom, boom, a working person, right? But he's saying like a worker, a shorthand for an employee, right? I think they say employee in the, in, the, in the captions, but he's not saying work person. He's just saying like worker as a shorthand. So working, O-R, a consultant, so an employee or a consultant from the deaf community, right? Moving forward to avoid, to avoid is like this, to avoid, and he already has his hand out from moving forward. So this hand, this hand is already sort of dedicated to the moving forward sign, and he's saying avoid, to avoid. So normally if you were just saying avoid, it looked like avoid, right? But he's already committed to the moving forward and to avoid. <laughs> the signs are sort of um, fusing together in really interesting ways is what I'm trying to say. And so you know how in English you have contractions? It's like, hey, do you want to go to the store today? It's like, what does want to mean? What is, do you want to? I'm like, do you want to? What does that mean? It's like, do you want to go to the store? It's like, speak clearly. Do you want to? To go to the store today that's how you would probably say it if you're reading it from like a textbook or like someone way back in the 1950s but now we sort of just meshed words together in very interesting ways that are characteristics characteristic of the communities that we come from and represent and so a lot of the signs that he's using especially with like the different forms of all right and like the signs that he's combining together to say some interesting things like hey moving forward to avoid xyz uh the way how he's signing sometimes where he has like his hand pointing but sometimes where he'll he'll, he'll change his dominant hands and he'll go like hand signs sometimes he uses shorthand to say things sometimes he'll combine old with finger spelling right right like he will use a lot of different mix of the tools of asl and how he's choosing the tools and when he's choosing the tools dictates sort of like his particular accent and i think that's very cool it's very very cool so so what else is he saying deaf community to avoid from doing it again unintended meanings yeah <laughs> not so without a doubt the uh, he's gone from you know, just how I talk to how Old Navy is, is, is saying what they're saying in their press message to kind of going back to how he normally talks to Jeff. <laughs> I'm back to regular me. That's it. Anyway, I love it. Okay, and that's it. So you, several, so several deaf people on Twitter, them, you know, Several few deaf people on Twitter. Yeah, I got that right. Okay. They, they, I like how he says like them as a group pointing out to them. Whereas sometimes I would, I would, uh, option for something like this. It's like, so like a few deaf, he says deaf the way I say deaf. That lady on the other hand goes deaf like this deaf people on Twitter, or you can even say, so like a few Twitter users, people, uh, they, but he goes like they, they were all, anyway, a lot of different ways you can do this, Twitter, they were all like, okay, huh, <laughs> wow, okay, they took it down now. Those guys, those clothes that were taboo, they're, that were there, now they want all of them. They want to gather them all up. R-A-R-E. They're rare. Culture, cultural, 
A R T I F A C T artifacts. They're now cultural artifacts, rare cultural artifacts. I want a shirt. I want a shirt that says <laughs> love one another. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys had a good time. Uh, okay, so like I said, three minute video, 30 minute translation. That's not bad for me. That's not bad for me. Um, I'll probably post more of these in the future. Uh, the main takeaway from this is a lot of different ways to sign. And I think that's a very interesting thing. And signing is very much like English or even like music where it's like you have different potential ways of expressing yourself and it's the notes that you choose and the notes that you don't hit sort of like the the colors that you decide to use the palette that you have an option to to pick or not pick that dictate how you choose to express yourself and in that shows a reflection of the community that you came from and that's something that we should take with us when whether we're listening to someone talk or hearing someone sing or watching someone sign that they are very much products of the environment that they are from when that infuses the way how they communicate and it should be something that you should be aware of how you communicate and so what we really are are just people representing you know our upbringing the the places we we're born at the friends that we have when we communicate with each other and the more and the benefit of this is the more people we communicate with the more worldly our ability to communicate with people becomes and that means we can make better connections with people uh, regardless if we don't necessarily agree on the same things we can just by virtue of the fact that we've gone out and talked to people you know i know with COVID it's bad a big deal but like we ha we used to do that and we will still do that again but if i can find a connection with someone because we have you know a similar shared interest or a similar upbringing in some capacity that makes the the communication beyond words easier and so what better way to show communication beyond words than with the, these deaf channels and the and the fact that even the people who sign do so in different ways and i think that's just a beautiful thing all right that's enough i'll do more of these in the future along with some uh <laughs> my waxing poetic at the end i just think communication is an interesting thing it's a bizarrely bizarrely beautiful thing that we're capable of doing and um what greater opportunity than we have now as human beings who can understand this than to just sit back and appreciate the fact that we can talk to each other about anything and isn't that a wonderful thing let's go chat sometime see you guys